Namaste. So what is Consciousness Research Center? What is its brand identity? Well, if you've read the literature, the prospectus, the description, the marketing stuff that we've done so far, you know the mission and vision and the purpose of the thing, which is spiritual education. But I don't see any evidence that anybody actually gets the vision that I created CRC, this channel, basically, upon. And that vision is something I've been hanging on to, holding on to, uh, using as a basis for all my creative work now for over 20 years. What is that? A comprehensive spiritual university, which is not limited by the usual boundaries of sectarian teaching or even of levels of consciousness. Let's go back to the good old diagram of consciousness. When a person first starts spiritual life, they're in jagrat. And so they're doing all these external practices like hatha yoga or some kind of religious practice, rituals or uh, sacrifices or prayers to their chosen deity, right? But their frame of reference is primarily still the material world, the gross material manifestation. What has to happen for them to advance spiritually is they have to realize a personal connection with the deity. However, they envision the deity. However, they use a metaphors of religion to connect with their deity and relate with their deity. That's bhakti. So how does a person move from karma yoga to bhakti yoga? Well, they need education, training. And similarly, from bhakti yoga to raja yoga, meditation. And finally, from Raja Yoga to Jnana Yoga, realization, self-realization. How do they make those transitions? In each case, some kind of education is required. Education on a new point of view, first of all, and then the practices that implement that point of view. So, this channel historically has provided those. However, what I see from the people who visit the channel is that their window or their vision, their view of the channel is very narrow. For example, when we were teaching bhakti, goddess bhakti, uh, <laughs> Sri Vidya, we had a lot of people into Sri Vidya visiting the channel. Some of them stuck around for years while we went through this whole thing. But then when we changed to Shiva Bhakti, they all left and a new crowd came in. And then finally, when we shifted to Advaita and Shankaracharya, all those Shaivite people kind of disappeared and we got a whole new crowd all new to the channel, all not realizing the, the breadth of this teaching. And so we had to educate them all over again from the beginning. And really, they still don't get it. There's over 1,600 videos. I mean, even I have a hard time wrapping my rhyme. Even I have a hard time wrapping my mind around that many videos. The only way to do it is to categorize them and create a course, like a university course, 
a university degree in applied spirituality, we could call it. But see, I have not been able to create that image, that brand identity on YouTube. To do that would require a whole bunch of supporting marketing activities on social media and so on that I am just not equipped to do as a person. My focus is inward. I'm an introvert. Huh? I admit it. But see, that is what has to inspire the whole thing, looking within. That is the practice. And observing and then analyzing what you see in terms of different knowledge structures according to the different states of consciousness. So that is what has to be the foundation. But then to create the entity, you know, a living, breathing, thriving community of people engaged in these teachings requires a special kind of marketing head that I just don't have. Somebody who's, who understands the introversion, the meditation and stuff, but who also can extrovert and present that in a way that people understand it. And they get the image, the vision. I can't do that. I mean, there's not enough hours in the day. I have to think for hours to create a new video. That's why I've gravitated towards a very much like a hermit lifestyle. Because any kind of interruption derails my train of thought, to use a <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> and I have to start all over again to build it up. See, it's like programming. There's a nice essay by Paul Graham about why programmers need offices with doors. Why they can't just be out in the middle of a, you know, big group office, open air office. And it's because of interruptions, because of distractions. To work on a complicated programming problem requires a full concentration, long enough to build up the problem in one's mind and then address the different issues with creative activity. If there is even a prospect of being interrupted, the programmer can't even get started. Why would I want to build up a structure, a mental structure, conceptual structure, that takes an hour to get together if at any moment I could be interrupted for a meeting or, you know, lunch or whatever it is. And the same thing goes for this kind of work. Making these videos is concept intensive. It requires a lot of thought. And that requires lack of interruption. So this is why, you know, on most of my machines, I've turned off all the notifications and email and stuff like that. The machines that I use for video production aren't connected with the internet and all of that stuff, unless I want to upload a video. Those machines normally don't get only my like personal phone and my, you know, small iPad they get all the emails and stuff. And then when I'm ready to deal with that stuff, I go sit down and deal with it. But it's by my choice. It's not by being interrupted. So I can't interrupt my flow to do marketing. Marketing is a different flow. It's a whole different headspace, a whole different personality type whole different kind of thinking. So we need someone who can do that. And if we don't have that talent in-house, we're going to have to hire it. And so all of these things point to development of CRC as a community, first of all, with a 
strong executive team, leadership ability, and organizational ability. And, you know, the thing that bugs me is on the group, the CRC Pro Tem Board discussion group, thus far, I don't see any sign of self-organization. An executive is somebody who can go into a complicated, chaotic field and, like, put it in order and start solving problems. You know, I know this from the days when I used to be a hardware technician, which led to being a hardware software technician. <laughs> My job was to go out in the field to customers' sites and solve their problems. To do that, I had to be a self-starter. I couldn't wait for somebody to tell me what was wrong. I had to figure it out for myself. I don't see any of that executive mentality on the site, on the discussion group. I don't see anybody taking initiative. I see people who are like busy with a million other things, have very little time and energy to focus on CRC. And I don't see any evidence of initiative or disciplined thinking, problem solving, and, you know, stuff like that. I don't see that coming up. I, I see everybody kind of waiting to be told what to do. And I'm tired of that. I need a group of people who are executive class operators who can put order into a field that's chaotic, who can solve problems independently and get stuff done so that I don't have to do it and I don't even have to think about it. That way I can focus on the real problem, which is the content generation. That's my job. That's what I do. I'm the vision guy. I'm the knowledge guy. I'm the guy who does the videos, who makes the content. So what we need a board for is to organize it such that it's accessible, such that it's recognizable. You see, the biggest problem in the music market, in the YouTube video market, in practically every market today is discoverability, especially with AI now. There's so much junk flooding the whole field. How do we discover the authentic people and the valuable knowledge? That isn't just a tease to get you to watch a video. Huh? Clickbait farms stuff like this. We need our own website. We need our own identity. We need our own marketing. We need to uh, be able to present our image of what we are as CRC in a succinct, understandable way that the target audience can understand. Now, who is the target audience? They are the people who have been playing around, going to different teachers, experimenting with different practices, and now they're ready to get down and go deep. Those are the people we want because all of our courses, and, and that's what these videos really are, are mini courses. All of them are deep. They go into whatever topic they're on. In, at, at a university or above level. So we're looking for people, probably college educated or the equivalent, who are able to and, and need to go deeper into spirituality, find their own practice, find their path, and really, you know, start to woodshed it and train them in the various methods. So, all right, that work has to be done, and that is our job. So now, who is going to do it? Aum Tat Sat. Aum Shakti Aum. Aum. 
Namah Shivaya.